Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Terrell Nishan, and today I'm gonna bring you my base of what I do before I like, do my brows, because as you can see, all this shine, I'm shining bright like a diamond. Um, like I've been playing in Crisco all day. So if you wanna see what I do, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. And I'm gonna link everything that I've used. Well, not link it, but I'm gonna put everything in the description as to what I use and um, yeah. Okay, so I wanna start with um, the NYX Bear With Me, which I drew. I'm just gonna go like that. And then I'm gonna go in with, I got only got a little bit left of my uh, Milk Hydro Grip, but a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip is the hard candy you can get this at walmart and it's the hard candy hydrating primer same concept everything same color it's crazy so yeah i actually have a dupe video that um i made uh that shows like all the dupes that i have i love dupes because we're all about affordability gotta afford it be everything okay so i went with that hydro grip um i have combination skin for those who are new so and what i like about this um primer is the fact that um it doesn't leave your face like all dry like it still gives you like a tacky let me do a little bit more for my chin but um it just adheres to your makeup like it's it's not overly white like, sticky okay so next i'm gonna go in with my la girl high definition matte powder oh my favorite brush and i like this because it's like kind of like a dome like that and i'm gonna go here and just do this and what I feel like this does this gives me like an added layer so that I'm not shiny when I do put on the rest of my makeup my eyeshadow you know my brows um, my liner it's really really nice that I can just do that make sure I get especially in the brows because like make it matte I thought for a while that I couldn't use like the jelly type primers because of my oily skin but as you know I've mentioned previously um people with oily skin you don't want to make your face too matte I just make sure which is really cool about this uh, technique that I do for my face when I am doing this added protection uh, well this first layer for my makeup is the fact that um, one day I was just doing it and I looked on YouTube here and it's really cool that um, Jackie Ina actually did it so I'm not the originator in the sense of like I came up with it but I didn't follow her um and then I seen that she did it and I was just like oh my gosh all right so that's done and what I like to do to make sure that everything is blended in because what I think with this technique what it does is I can just go out like this if I want like just I don't want nothing else put some gloss on call it a day um but i want to make sure that there are no um what's the word i want to say um i want to make sure there's no like splotches like uh, no patches and what so what i like to do is just go in with a damp beauty blender and just make sure that everything is blended out nice and everything is just really 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 good I 
love this technique. I feel like it's definitely helped with my base for when I am putting on my foundation or lack thereof. If I don't want to put on foundation, this is literally all I would need to do. Um, give it like a natural look for the day. So, before I go on with the brows and everything, I'm going to go in with this Milk Hydro Grip um, spray. They came one. They came with one. This is just a travel size. Um, and I just want to set all the powders. Let it melt. So, that's my base. What I do before I do anything else. So, I will be right back with a with the finished product and we'll go on with the foundation or whatever so i'll be right back hey welcome back all right so now that i got my makeup like my eyeshadow everything let's finish up the face um so today i'm gonna go in with the fenty soft matte in 410 and i'm just gonna go here just put three here see what that does a little bit um i think this is like my first time well no it's like my second time using this i'm gonna go back in with that brush that i had earlier and i'm just going to go here and get this really get it in Rather, give you that nice soft look because yeah this isn't going to be too matte even though it says matte you still i feel like you still have breathable like coverage like it's you know you're still able to you're not going to be overly matte but that makes sense to me. so first impression i really like it go here so next I'm going to go in with that blender that I had earlier and I'm just going to make sure again that I spread it all out. And because this is matte, this foundation, I'm not going to bake too long. Well, I want to definitely get in my T-zone with it. Right. So I'm going to go in again with my Maybelline Lasting Fix and oh, nope. Before I do that, I'm jumping. Jumping the gun. So I'm going to go in with my... Where is the lighter one at? I have a lighter shade. Okay, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. This one is in Tan Latte. Um, I just... I don't want to use a lot on here. Underneath here give some kind of brightness I got a little excited with that right and then I'm gonna go in um, with the Milani perfect conceal and this is in cool sand and I'm just gonna just go up here go here go here go here because I really don't somewhat like I want to say like I don't want my eye my under eye to be too bright that look like Casper go back in with that brush that I had earlier for the foundation i use for the foundation i'm going to use that for the concealer as well Ooh, oh shit eyeliner off but we'll go put it back this brush this brush i got from sephora i love it this is the nope that's a lie sorry this is from ulta and this is their Precision Foundation number 12 brush. It is perfect. Don't sleep on the Ulta brand. It got some really good brushes. And if you go like the right time, you'll get them like on sale. Okay. Bring it up some. I feel like I'm having a really good brow today. Real brow day. Real good brow day. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. Okay. So 
So I want to go back in since that eyeliner, um, I took some of that eyeliner off with concealer and I just want to go back here. Just bring it back like that. Always remember if you mess up, go in with your concealer and just clean it up to make it more defined for your winged look, for your wings because you will be It'll be so good. All right. So now we can go in with the Maybelline powder. And I can just go ahead and set this. I'm not going to bake too long. But. You know, when you've like been out of the groove for a while, for a minute. You should be like, yo. Like crap. <laughs> so I haven't put makeup on like I don't think at all last week and so like this week I'm like you know what sometimes you just need to like let your face just breathe breathe so we'll let that bake for a minute well whatever this trick that somebody had did um, and so I want to see if I can do it first time for everything so I'm gonna go in with like a darker shade and with like a dome brush and I'm just going to go here kind of smudge that out you don't have to bring it all the way in like you don't have to bring it all the way over and this is actually a really good trick if like you're traveling somewhere and you forget your eyeliner or what have you you know and you can just take like an eyeshadow oh my gosh that's so cute all right so i'm gonna go ahead like i said i'm not going to bake long i'm gonna go in with a brush powder brush and just take that off and give it like a nice soft don't worry we're gonna warm the face back up with the bronzer So I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place bronzer and I'm going to just go in and just dip in both of these and just, you know, warm my face up. All right. I'm going to warm my face up a little bit, but I just, I don't know. I want to go in with that beauty blender for a minute. Just make sure everything is crisp and any imperfections with that bottom eyeshadow that we just did to make it for our liner we can like clean it up and then go back in with it don't dip it and just kind of smudge it some more all right and then i'm gonna go in with the lash sensational maybelline sky high mascara and just go in coat the bottom lashes this is so cute I love this look today. This is a good confidence booster. This this look because, you know, like I said, I hadn't done makeup. I was like all last week. And all this, and, you know, today's Wednesday, so I hadn't done it at all this week. And so, you just kind of need to give yourself a break. Forgive yourself. Love yourself, you know. You're like, you know what? And like, I guess they're saying like the whole like retro, the retroactive gray. I don't know with the mercury thing. I don't understand that shit. I don't. Shout out to those who do, but I don't. All right. So I'm going to go in now with my highlighter. This highlighter is from ColourPop. It is the Soul Body, um, Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder. It's so 
pretty. It was like, I forgot how much it was, but it was super cheap. Y'all, look how pretty that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Y'all, it's so, I don't, you can't see it. Whatever. Okay. And I'm just going to go in. I just take like a random brush and I'm just going to go here and just kind of, this is very subtle. I like that it, it's blinding, like as far as in the sense of when you see it, but I like that it's giving you like very much subtle. Yes, boo. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And last but not least, chocolate today. And this one is by Morphe. It's smoky red. It's so pretty. It comes with a liner, a gloss, and a lipstick. So this liner. Oh, so I want to make sure that my lip gloss. I put lip gloss off before I did my face. Matt it up. Make sure there's nothing sticky. And I'm gonna go in with the liner. And that liner is in the shade Taboo. This is so pretty. Next with the lipstick. And this is in the shade No Shame. <laughs> no shame, Margie, honey. And then you want to top that. We can literally just do it like this. This is everything and then some. But I'm going to do it today in this one. I'm going to use the topper, the lip gloss that came with it. And it's in Trippy. And. Oh. So. So, 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 so pretty. And there you have it. That is the completed look. I hope you all like this. Uh, I hope that this was simple and easy. Well, it looks simple and easy. But I'm going to actually film this look for you guys. Um, as far as the shadow, I'll show you what I did. It's very, very simple. But I hope you all are good. Stay blessed. Um, make sure you click like and subscribe before you leave. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.